All right, today we're going to do a review of the Western Mountaineering Ultralight 20 Degree Sleeping Bag. Uh, it was rated as Climbing Magazine's Editor's Choice. Uh, this, ma this bag is made in the USA out of California and is part of the Extreme Light series. So let me go ahead and show you. It comes with a stuff sack and uh, the big blue sack, a storage sack for when you're not using it all closed up. So let me go ahead and I'll show you the rest of the bag. Okay, so here's the ultralight from Western Mountaineering here. Uh, this bag weighs one pound, 13 ounces in the regular six foot model. Uh, it has 16 ounces of 850 plus down fill. Uh, this bag also has the mummy style shape, so uh, it allows your, your face here and it, uh, it tapers towards the leg. Uh, each of these baffles, these continuous baffles, is five and a quarter inch spacing. Uh, there's also a five inch loft with a 20 degree rating. So this bag has two other parts, the draft collar and the draft tube. So when you open these up, you can see here, this is the draft tube that runs along the zipper so that cold air won't come in. And it also has a piece of uh, hard plastic sewn in there so that the zipper won't catch. Now here is the draft collar. And as you can see, this line here is the cinch. So once you shut the bag, this draft collar will actually shut around your neck this way. Uh, then of course on the top here is another cinch that's going to allow it to cinch this way. So there's two cinches, not just one. There's one around the neck and one around the face. Uh, what I'm going to do next is describe to you the difference between sewn through construction and continuous baffle construction. So let me get that diagram for you. Okay, so in the construction of sleeping bags, I have found out that there are two styles that I'm aware of. One is sewn through construction and the other is continuous baffle construction. So here is my Mont Bell bag and this one has sewn through construction and I'll show you that in a minute what the difference between that and this is continuous baffle for the Western Mountaineering bag. So let me go ahead and show you the diagram here. Now, this is continuous baffle construction and this is sewn through construction. So right here, every time the stitching comes together, the top and the bottom layer meet and they make a point where heat can escape because there's no down lofting between them. And you'll see it in a cross section here uh, and that's how the Mont Bell is made. Now, with Western Mountaineering, you have continuous baffles. So there's baffled netting in between each of them, and there's always loft between the top layer of material and the bottom layer of material on the top and on the bottom. So there's always going to be a continuous layer of down between you uh, and the material uh, on the outside. So there's not going to be a chance that the heat could escape. And let me go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like to hold up the light with the sewn through construction. Okay, so this is my Mont Bell Super Stretch number three, and this is a 30 degree bag. This bag has about 10 ounces of down. Uh, it's a little lighter, and, but it has super stretch material, but it also has sewn through construction. So let me show you by holding it up to the light here. When you, when you can see light through on the other side, that's because all of the light shining through is just there's no down, there's no insulation, there's no law. So all throughout this bag, wherever you see those spots, that's going to be where you're going to have heat loss. You can't move it around, you can't adjust any of that. So what I'm going to do next is show you how the continuous baffles allow you to move the down around for your choice. Okay, so with continuous baffles, you'll notice again as I explained that there's baffles holding the down in each of these sections. Now some of these sections might be a little bit puffier uh, than say these over here. So if you have a desire to move the down, let's say you get hot and you want to move this down this way, or if you don't need it on the bottom layer, you can bring the down that is in this layer here up to the top level. And let me show you what that looks like. So if you take the bag and you sweep it with your hand. What I'm actually doing is moving the 
down in the baffle chambers toward that side. And I'm not going to go all the way down the bag, but I'm going to try and show you. If you were out and you felt like you needed more down on the top, you can easily do that just like this. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second here. So now there's going to be a lot less down on the bottom, but that's what sleeping pads are for. So now you've got a much, much more down. So now here there's much less and most of the down is going to be on top. So that you're getting a lot more puffiness up here. So, if you, if you feel that you want to move it around, you can. Uh, my question when I first got this was, well, if it moves, then how hard is it to move it back? So, as you can see, there's not much puffiness here. It's basically flat, although there is some down in there. But it's just as easy that you take it. Just shake it around. And that down moves right back into those chambers and levels out these chambers. And then you're not so puffy up top anymore because I've moved the down back down there. So that's one of the really great benefits of having the uh, continuous baffle construction. Okay, so in the Montbell, one of the things that I found uh, that I prefer not to have, especially when I'm trying to be bundled up in the really cold weather, is the uh, cinch around here, it tends to hit the bridge of my nose. So if I lay down and then decide to pull this cord in, it already it's on my face. It's my catching on my glasses already. So even if I pull it over, and I go ahead and do, I start, now it's already over my eyes, and then it starts to hit the bridge of my nose. So if I tense it up any more, it just starts to pull on my nose here, which to me is extremely uncomfortable. So let me show you what it's like in the Western Mountaineering bag. Okay, to show you the difference between the Mont Bell and the Western Mountaineering, there's two. There's a draft collar, and then there's a, a collar that goes around the lid, and I'll show you the difference. So when I lay down here, and I shut myself in. The first thing I'm going to do is to pull this draft collar tube here. Let's see. Yeah, that's this one. So this one is going to allow the draft collar around my neck here to close down. Now, once I'm comfortable, it's not going to let air in, so I can find the other one and pull this one in. Now the great part about this is it surrounds my face with down which is very comfortable and it's not hitting the bridge of my nose. I can close it here and yet I'm still very comfortable. I can still see out with my face. Obviously I don't sleep with my glasses on but the difference is is that when I really want to pull this side down it's very comfortable and what it tends to do is surround my face and my head with down instead of uh, that cord you know coming down on my face so that's one of the aspects that I really like especially about cold weather is being able to sh close the bag down and keep all my warmth inside so let me go ahead and I'll uh, I'll wrap this up for you and get you the rest of the specifics Okay, so I, I, I wanted to get all those points out. Um, now, the next thing, I have not used this bag in a performance uh, of field testing, so I cannot say specifically how it's going to work. It is a 20-degree bag. Uh, the, the reviews that I've read about Western Mountaineering determine that 
a lot of folks can go a few degrees below the allowed temperature rating. Uh, now I do have a sleep system that I will show uh, in another video. I'll go over how all that stuff works and what I'm else I'm going to be carrying. So this uh, the Mont Bell is going to be my summer bag, and this Western Mountaineering is going to be the winter bag for the first portion. Um, now it is the best design sleeping bag that I've ever had. Uh, it's the third. I had a synthetic, and then I had the Mont Bell, and now I have the Western Mountaineering uh, made in the USA, which is important to me. Um, now they're not exactly cheap, but I really think it's worth the money, and I really think if you're going to get one and use it, then you should definitely think about it. And you know, one of the things I've done lately is I've ordered more than one thing and had them side by side to compare them and return the one that I didn't go with. That's an option. And if you do that, you'll most likely pick the Western Mountaineering. Um, it came with the stuff sack, it came with the storage sack, and it came with a sticker, which I put on my laptop and I think it's pretty cool. Um, the pros that I have on this one are the mummy shape gives it versatility. Um, you can open it up with a full zipper and use it kind of like a quilt. Um, you can move the down and the continuous baffles, which really gives you the chance to adjust it for the temperature. If you're too hot, you can move down to the bottom. If you're too cold, uh, you can move down from the bottom. Um, uh, it's, it's lightweight, uh, has overall degree, uh, 20 degree rating. It has 850 plus down, which decreases the volume uh, compared to other bags. So when you stuff it down into the stuff sack, it actually is going to stuff sm much smaller than a synthetic, theoretically. Um, there's two part closure for the for the mummy part for the head, one around the neck on the draft collar, and one around my face, which to me is really beneficial. Um, the cons, they're expensive. They're pricey, uh, but they have a, a, a really nice um, uh, situation where they'll service the bags um, and I, I've only read positive things about the company, so if you were going to get one, I would trust in the fact that if something happened or you needed help, that help would be there for you. Um, now, one of the other cons is that down requires specific care. Since this is such high quality down, you're probably going to need to take care of it, wash it with certain soaps and dry it in certain ways, um, and be a little more cautious with how you do it. You can't just throw it in and do whatever you like with it, so you'll have to follow those rules. Now. If wet, uh, down will lose some of the thermal properties, um, and that's some of the things that I've seen. Um, I've never experienced it before, but that is one of the properties of down, so you want to try and not get it wet. Now, I know it has uh, a shell that can resist some water, but the seams aren't sealed, so that could be a, a specific part that, that could be compromised. But um, So that's about it. I really appreciate you watching my review. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those. And I hope this helps you, and I hope that uh, if there's anything else, you can just let me know. Thanks a bunch.